Heidi Ho, it's Lex Tenebris, and you probably know me from the Library Foundation Community Podcast or the Squidlord outputs over the last couple of decades online or or whatever. I I decided to do something a little different today. I, there's no real title for this. There's no... And that, I, we're just live in the studio with a microphone and my creaky chair, and we're, we're going to talk about something that is important when we talk about podcasts and live streams and all that stuff, and that is audio leveling. And as an example, I've got Cheekin unscripted here, and Cheekin, I'm not picking on him. He volunteered for this treatment. You know how it is. Go check out his work on Library and Odyssey, because he's actually quite good. But we're going to talk about a problem that he has and how we can solve that problem. And, and we're going to just sort of do it together. This is going to be very informal, not scripted. I'm just sort of doing this off the top of my head. So let's let's listen and look at the video involved here. OBS is doing our little capture. So let's let's see what we got. And compressing your videos and audio in the video is highly recommended because if you have an uncompressed audio file that has too high of a bitrate and is also way too big in file size. Now, you've, you've probably already figured out what my problem is by listening to my microphone audio and uh, this, you, you're actually seeing it and hearing it. it. It really jumps out at you. Let's look at a little bit at the very beginning where it's even more pronounced. Hello, librarians. So this video here is very important for every creator, but also for all the viewers out there. Okay, now that sets you up. You probably know what it is, and it's the audio levels are too low. Let's switch over to my OBS screen, going into infinite regress, because it's the OBS screen on the OBS screen on the OBS screen, but that's fine, because we don't care about that. All we care about are these meters at the bottom, and you can see my voice meter is bouncing up and down right there under you know somewhere between negative five and negative 10 decibels from unity which is zero that means that uh, whatever i'm saying is kept in that range i've got a little bit of compression i've got a couple of other things a little noise gate I, it, that's not important the important thing is let's look at what happens when i play uh chicken's video here hello librarians so this video here is very important for every creator, but also for all the viewers out there. Now you can see two things going on here. You can see where the this peaks are hitting, and his peaks are hitting and roughly around, you know, negative 40, negative 45. And you can see the RMS, which is that dark line, is bouncing even lower than that. That's the average audio level calculated by some various ways. Mine is much higher because it's, it's compressed down, and that's what you want to see. The problem with a lot of videos these days is that you're listening to it on YouTube or streaming along on Twitch, and it's like really low. It's mixed very, very quietly. And you know, it's it's just it's really quiet. And then the next video comes on and it's really loud and it blows out your ears, and you're like, whoa, whoa. I that it, it, if you do that, if you're responsible for that, if you are, you know, the guy that's streaming or recording and do that, that doesn't end well. That's just not, people blame you for that. They're uncomfortable, and sometimes they don't even know why they're uncomfortable. They just hear it, and they're like, ah, I don't know, I don't enjoy listening to that guy. You know, if they make, if you make them turn up their audio interface or their volume, and just, it's just not great. And, and you don't have to do that. There's a whole lot of ways to fix that. Now, normally, I do my audio engineering by using Reaper, which is a wonderful, wonderful... Yeah, audio engineering platform, as you can see, it's it's got every what and wherefore that you would ever need. And the most important thing is 60 bucks for people like you and me. 60 bucks. You are not going to find an audio editor, an audio cleanup tool, an audio tool. Honestly, there's plugins that you can't get for 60 bucks. So it's really great that Reaper.fm is available for people like you and me who just want to do some stuff, we're not getting rich. We're not even doing it professionally. We're just working on stuff. Even when we are doing it professionally, you can always upgrade your license later. And there is a free trial. However, 
Reaper and OBS don't like one another. <laughs> they have real problems talking to each other, getting the audio recording from OBS into, uh, from Reaper into OBS. It's just, just, it was too much of a nightmare. So instead, we're going to use another free tool that uh, we've talked about before in the post show of the last uh, of the last uh, LCFP Library Foundation Community Podcast LFCP. Uh, we were talking about production tools, and I've recently switched to DaVinci Resolve. It's free. You can buy the upgraded version with all the Pro Tools, and when I say Pro Tools, I mean all the professional stuff for 370 bucks or something like that. It's ridiculously cheap for what you get. Screw you, Adobe. Your tools can go away. But here we are. I downloaded Cheekin's video and loaded it in to DaVinci Resolve. And you can see, you know, we've got it loaded up here. You can do this in your audio interface. You can do this in Reaper. There's tool, you can do it in Audacity, I'm sure. But here's what we got. And this is this is good for visualizing. What we have here is the waveform, and this is you know just to prove it. Hello, librarians. This is him talking. So That's his this levels. Video here is very important. See, it's for just every creator. It's kind of low. It's kind of quiet, and you can tell it's kind of low and kind of quiet by looking at the peaks. The peaks don't reach nearly up to the top or the bottom. That's not great. So let's go to the inspector, right, and click on this file. Now, the obvious easiest thing to do is simply take the volume, which is not changed at all by default, and just drag it so that the, the peaks come up toward the top, right? That's it. That's all we're going to do right now. We're going to scroll back to the beginning, and then we're going to play this. Hello, librarians. So this video here is very important for every creator, but also for all the viewers out there. So creators, you have to do this. Look at that. That the, the peaks are way better. In fact, we're going to roll back to the beginning. We're going to switch back to OBS and we're going to play it again. I want you to look at the meters at the bottom because OBS really does have decent meters. Hello, librarians. So this video here is very important for every creator, but also for all the viewers out there. So creator. All right. So like this is not perfect. The beginning of it, uh, really, it, it's got this bit of breathiness at the beginning. I would have cut out if I was doing this professionally. Okay. There's this little bit here. But in terms of overall sound, just turning up the volume, just turning up the volume made a huge difference, right? We didn't even turn it up that much. We just dragged it up so that the peaks are at the top and bottom. Now, that is automatically done for you by using a tool in most audio editors called normalize normalization basically just does what we just did by eye it takes the highest and lowest peaks makes it the loudest possible thing in the waveform and then you know scales everything else to fit that's all it does that's what you want it to do and that you know if all you do is normalize your vocals your audio tracks just your audio tracks before you put them into your editing suite or as part of your, your editing process, you're going to go a long way toward making everything a little bit better. But we can go a step further. Uh, like most things, we have you know all sorts of effects that we can use in, in uh, DaVinci. And in particular, in the audio effects, is the dialogue processor. We'll just drag that on. Now, it's got a whole bunch of things. It's got de-rumble, it's got de-pop, it's got de-essing, it's got expanding, it's got exciting. And we don't care about any of that right now. We literally don't care about any of that. The only thing we care about is compressor. Because every system has a compressor, and they're often quite good. All the compressor does is it at, the, at a certain decibel level, in this case by default negative 23, it will start to reduce the amount that the energy of one sound wave it adds on by some amount. In this particular case, they don't have it set to a decibel scale. It's just between zero and one. 
So let's let's see what we can do with a little bit of compression on here. We're gonna hit play. All Hello, right. librarians. Over here on the left, so you can see the very input for every creator, scale. And I'm gonna turn down all the, the output volume here. We're just gonna do by gonna do by eye. Right? So over here you can see it peeking into red, and even with the compression we've got set, it's not bouncing as high, it's not bouncing as fast. Let's turn down the knee a little, let's turn down the threshold a little bit so it kicks in more frequently, more often. And you see here is how much it's happening. So we've got to turn down about three. Let's turn up the amount it compresses, uh, about 0.5. There, there we go. And now it's, it's a little bit better. Let's turn up the output audio. So let me show you how you can do this easily. First off, you should nice. really download the software. Much handbrake. more controlled. Look at link this compared the to the handbrake the output according to the, the compared to the input. It's just so much better. So for instance, let me get this video here, and we could turn up the overall volume as well again if that was not answer. enough. But this the levels are falling about to the right place. If we look at OBS, it has a data rate of twenty-three thousand, almost twenty-four thousand. It's peaking up there. It's not bouncing around nearly as much. It just looks it really good. This is way better. Turn off the processor. And it's uh, a stereo channel track. And you hear it's a, so a lot spikier. Let's drag this video into Handbrake. Turn it back on. Once it's loaded in, you can set a preview and it's, that's uh, that great. you want. That's awesome. That is fantastic. So, you know, that's step one. That's just a few minutes. We dragged up the volume. We compressed it a little bit. And it's way better. But, uh, you know... I'm lazy. I don't know about you. I, I freaking hate to work on anything, truth be told. So uh, I know about another tool. It's called the Levelator, and it's up on screen right now. But if you Google Levelator, L-E-V-E-L-A-T-O-R on Google, it, it's the first thing that comes up. It's a tool that hasn't been supported since the end of 2012. It literally takes WAV files and spits out WAV files, or it takes MP3s and spits out WAV files. But what it does is basically what we just did. It just does that. It just uh, it normalizes your audio, does a little bit of compression. If you go to the website, you can see that, uh, that you, it'll tell you about the sort of thing it does as an intelligent RMS compressor limiter. And you can tell I'm working just out of the, the house studio because you can probably hear the uh, blender in the kitchen because that's what happens when you're trying to work on stuff. But we're not stopping. This isn't supposed to be that awesome. Levelator. Take your audio, run it through Levelator, and, and pull it back out. And it doesn't matter if you've got multiple speakers. I wouldn't suggest using it for anything with bed music. Do it before you put a bed under it. Just just get the levels all nice and, and compressed and equalized. It just sounds so much better. And then everything else that you do with it will sound better just will sound better that's that is what i suggest so chicken good job and i hope maybe you get some good out of what we're talking about here i'm hoping anyone else that hears it is enjoying it and tell me get back to me via personal message or dm or email whatever i'm not hard to find if you want to hear more of this stuff if you want to hear more about yeah like just casual offhand discussion we're not going to do a full full massive magical perfectly audio audio edited show because you know what there's plenty of people doing that there's lots of people uh like goya does uh you know, a reaper show on a regular basis there's all sorts of people doing cool stuff if you want to hear me just sort of ramble about things that you can do and show you quickly how you can do it in one tool or another let me know and uh, we'll see what we can do until then thanks chicken thanks everybody uh, this is Lex Tenebris, the Squid Lord. I will catch you, Hoopy Fruits, later.